All right, click the links to support the channel or go to Odyssey or BitChute or Gab and all that kind of stuff. Uh, or the Discord, but it's pretty offensive. I'm going to talk about this for just a sec. Then I'm going to go to the Nicki Minaj thing. I, I know they think when they do this kind of thing that they're stunning and brave. Like, they legitimately are in San Francisco just with their heads between their legs, smelling themselves. They're so... Oh, my, I just noticed the eyebrows now. Holy... I just noticed the eyebrows. That's like you completed the face and you forgot to draw the eyebrows. So you had someone like me just draw them in for you. Well, every time I look at this image, it gets worse and worse. Okay, they, they draw this draw this, and they think, Oh, the chat incels are going to get so outraged. All the istophobic people are going to be speak. We're going to own them. No, nobody cares because... You're owning yourself when you do this kind of thing. This is an insult to the artist and to whatever creative team is working on this. Like, deep down, you have to know that this is absolute dog shit. And you should be embarrassed for doing this. Dog, stay away for just a second. It looks like a transgender person. Um, now, let me zoom out so you can see the chest. And we're going to spend some time discussing boobage and anatomy. Now, I'm no artist, but I am a boob expert. Boobologist if you will. What happened here is this is a hybrid between a man and a woman. This looks like, to be charitable, a very, very thin woman who had about a dozen kids where the, you know, the boobs kind of get droopy when you've got like that many kids, but you stayed lean. That's what it almost looks like you started to draw. The other interpretation is Okay, look at the, the outer part of the boobage. You started to draw a chick with, you see my finger there, with like uh, D cups, very big boobs. And you started to draw this outer placement. It's the same, they're going all the way out here. But you didn't, uh, you didn't finish the underneath and you didn't give them enough depth coming out of the page. So you drew this weird hybrid between, it looks like a dude with massive pecs. Uh, cross. It's like you didn't know what you're drawing. You're so terrified of drawing big, voluptuous, megalopolis, just bouncy boobs. I'm a boob expert. I like boobs. Either, like, give her... Look at a, a, a thin, petite woman who has a B cup. Like, uh, t there are tons of athletes, women who are into whatever. They've, they're B cups. They're just... They're thin, low body fat, um you got to study that anatomy if you're going for that kind of drawing. You didn't know what you were trying to draw here because this is all messed up. It looks like the nipples are way on the outside, and it really looks like you've, you're crossing between a man and a woman, and I know you guys are you're trying to do this kind of whatever you're trying to do where men are women and women are men, and nothing matters and words don't matter. It's just everything's a tower of Babel where we can interpret things according to feelings. <sighs> this is just retarded, and this looks bad. Uh, and, you know, maybe the Twitter kids are giving you accolades for this, but, uh, like, the lips and the eyes are good. I mean, there's there's good s s elements to this, but, like, you can't have... You're just trying too hard where everybody... Like, the only thing that... The only thing about diversity you guys understand is African. Like, when you hear diversity, you think African, and that's it. You don't understand that... I mean, you know, there's Irish, Russian, Korean, uh, Han... Uh, there's people from all over the world. Uh, Swedish are diverse from Italians. But you guys just think of Africans. So really, in America, if you're selling American comics, the big group should be Latino, which is Mexican, Central American, are the huge, huge groups who want to see themselves represented. They don't want to see Afro-Latino. They just want to see Latino. So you're not owning the Chad incel uh, man babies by drawing something that literally nobody's going to buy. This Captain America, it's a billion-dollar property. It shouldn't get in focus. It's a billion-dollar... No, I just got out of focus. Um, it should be selling huge, huge numbers. Like, I don't know what you're going to sell with this. Uh, less than 10,000 copies. There's no point in even doing it. See, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. This is a, like a prepubescent girl who's also a gymnast who's got massive quadriceps. Quadriceps? Quadri... Quadri... What? Is this an adult? Is this post-puberty? 
she's got massive thighs like she's squatting a horse but dude this is horrible and like a little muslim cape thing so i'm just going to throw this out there why does she have one leg covered and one leg uncovered that's um i already said the r word so i can't repeat that it's really dumb that's really dumb that just uh it doesn't get any improvement by looking at it where you know like women as soon as they hit puberty they start getting butt um boobs that's part of the because you know lactation breasts mammals mammalian reproduction uh this is just retarded embarrassingly so oh i saw uh, tom brevoort on a interview today uh, there was like, I recognize some names, other very small channels like myself. And there was uh, like 25 people in the chat. <laughs> like this guy is, the guy who hosts the channel has got like a few thousand. And like Tom Brewer's a, a name. Um, he sh- Like if he went on EVS's channel, you'd have 2,000 people. But he's not allowed to. So he goes on this this. This guy who's just the biggest shill kiss ass. I forget the guy's name. I don't want to get in trouble or get him in trouble. Whatever. He, he's he just nods his head like a just a puppet. Everything every guest that comes on says he just nods like an idiot who just. And people in the com in the chat were kind of politely saying things like, uh, you know, maybe don't insult the customers and. You know, you might want to dial back the woke scale just a little bit. Like, I said something like that, and I was really gentle, because I didn't want to get my stuff deleted, which happens. And, uh, you know, of course, they're just going to ignore that kind of stuff. And, like, really, you're on thin ice with these kind of cha- channels. And this guy was, like, just a, just nodding his head with excitement about comics. And Tom was... Like, he's lying to you, and he's lying when he gives these interviews, and... He was making excuses why why comics aren't selling. And it's like, you never really want to talk about the content of the comic? No, because they're all on the left. And the left is a herd creature where you're not allowed to say, yeah, you know, maybe we should dial down the woke stuff. Oh, are you literally a Nazi? Mm, um, I think just it's escapist fiction. We want to kind of stick with... He didn't deny it. Tom's a Nazi. No, but, you know, the sales numbers, sales don't matter. Fighting Nazis matters. We, you know, there's, we're not actually fighting Nazis. We're just telling stories about, like, every bad character is a blonde guy in a red hat that looks suspiciously like a MAGA hat. Um. Anyway, so, no, I don't really care about that. I mean, I watched, like, five, ten minutes of it, and it's like, that's all I wanted to watch. It wasn't interesting, even to roast. Like, comics are just um, kind of over. Anyway, so uh, I'm on Team Nicki Minaj. Uh, which might surprise people. Uh, she actually is very talented, and she's got a lot of personality in in movies. Like she should, uh, if the, if it wasn't for the gift from China, uh, she should be doing movies nonstop. She's a really talented rapper, and I'm not that into rap anymore. But um, she gets it done. And uh, like, where comparison to somebody like Cardi B is not. Though both of their fans are insane, insane teenage girls. And a lot of rap is like, it's just, they get on stage and they mime sex acts. And like, Cardi B, okay, maybe that's all she's good for. But I look at Nicki Minaj and think, you're better than this. And, and you know, if you don't like rap, you're probably not going to agree. But no, she's she's actually talented. And like, she's better than just getting on knee pads and miming sex acts. And like, they, if you, there you can go down a, um, a uh, a rabbit hole on YouTube with uh, like female rap acts and like there's Iggy Azalea and, or just female that kind of stuff and it's like the whole theme is big boobs and butts and just miming sex acts and it's like Iggy Azalea Cardi B uh, this uh, uh, there's a bunch of them and like the music is not great and that's the whole thing it's just like some primitive mating rituals like some of you girls are better than this where you like, Aerosmith wasn't on their hands and knees doing sex acts. It, like, you can... I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so, um, this guy said nothing. He, he said some little funny thing about he went to a concert and uh, he thought she was like a crazy person running around. 
Um, that's not insulting. It's not even that funny. It's a little funny, but he, I think he probably thought in his head it sounded hysterical to him. Uh, it's funny. It's just not, it's not a big deal. He, he wasn't, he was just, I don't, he might even really like her because you know, allegedly went to the concert or who knows. It's not a big deal. And I, I wouldn't think anything twice of it. I wouldn't even think twice. And now I see, oh, okay, there's getting people mad. Oh, they must really be fans of Nicki Minaj. Not exactly. They're, they're mad, not because, like, the musical insult, because they compared her to a man? Well, people compare women to men all the time. Why does, why does she get special privilege? They said, oh, you can't compare a black woman to a man. Again, why not? What's the difference? I don't know. You don't probably don't know either. It's like, listen, either you're going to stand up for all women or... You, or, like, if you don't stand up for all women, then we really don't, really don't care that you're only standing up for, for your team. It just makes us look at you like uh, we can discount your opinion. Now, here's the thing about Nicki Minaj. I'm pretty sure since puberty, she has not, not looked like a man. Uh, there's no, like, that's an insult that doesn't land with her. She's very, like, a, she's like a caricature of a woman. I mean, she's... Uh, like a, like, I guess I want to say a black Venus, probably, um, very maternal earthy. Uh, and I, I know those boobs are paid for and all that kind of stuff, but like calling her and her as a masculine isn't an insult because it just doesn't, doesn't make sense in any way, shape or form. Like, even if you don't like her, her, uh, her music, like you can look at her and go, oh, she's, she's very attractive and she's got a very good figure if you're into that kind of very like, mm, kind of thing. Anyway, so this is stupid. They're saying, they're saying basically that, um, you can't criticize people who are in the special categories. Well, that means like you, they're not quite thinking this ahead because thinking it ahead means we can't be together. I mean, like, as a society, as a people, like, we can't enjoy each other's entertainment. Part of treating people people equally is treating people equally. 